Hey guys, it's Money Back here, and today Henry sent us another video. Actually, two, but only two this time. Usually, he sends us a lot more. But he says, if this gets a copyright notice, I will explode. Lol. Hopefully, it won't. Let's see what it is. Ooh, Jason Belmonte story. Sounds interesting. Let's watch. Holy. Set him up. Knock him down. Over and over. Everyone doing the same thing. <laughs> From Springfield to the bowels of the White House. History's great bowlers have all rolled the same way. Then one day the winds of change blow through the lanes. An agent of innovation shakes the sport to its polyester foundations, taking it in his grip with both hands. Oh. My name is Jason Belmonte. I'm 25 years old and I'm from Australia and I'm a two-hander bowler. <laughs> a two-hander bowler. Well, I first saw Jason Belmonte bowl at the World Championship. Norm Duke! There he is! And all he did was strike. You know, I've heard stories. And, and Pete Weber. On TV before, Weber? Weber? Live, I think it's Weber. Times than what you Henry, on help me out on this stuff. Uh. From the beginning, Jason Belmonte's style was unique. I started bowling when I was 18 months old. It's after I was born. My parents built a bowling center. Basically, that was my second home. It was my daycare. You can imagine a two-year-old. Uh, the weight of a bowling ball is extremely Aldo heavy. Aldo Belmonte, so his father. You can carry a bowling ball with two hands. He wanted to carry the ball himself. There was no Marissa way. Belmonte, no, his was mother. Dead, he had to do it himself. By the age of 11, Del Monte was determined to leave his mark on the sport. My ambition is to be the best baller in the world and be more rich. There was never a point in which he said, you know, if you're going to be taken seriously. Yeah, there were a few guys uh, back home that would say to me, look, this two-handed thing is fun for a little kid, but if you want to do something great in the sport, you better switch to one hand. My family yeah. was, ah, do it your own way, Jason. And that was it, those guys, what do they know? But even as a young Belmonte started racking up bowling trophies, the tokens of his excellence mocked him. I remember when I was younger, I won my first one of those, and I actually tried to bend the other guy's arm to try and get it to touch the ball, and I broke the trophy trying to do that. And I remember saying, I wish they would just make a trophy for me. These days, Belmonte's playing for more than just plastic trophies. Already, he's amassed 39 perfect games. Dang! He's the World Bowler of the Year. In March, by winning the PBA's Long Island Classic, he qualified for a full time berth on the American Tour. Clearly, nice. his approach isn't just pioneering, it's devastatingly effective. Now, let's take a close look at our target. Ten big fat pins just asking for it. Oh. Most bowlers use the popular three finger grip. This is probably where it stops from being normal. Instead of putting my thumb in the thumb hole, I put my palm over the top of that, keeping my thumb to the left of it. And now my left hand becomes my thumb. That makes any sense. Swing it like an easy going pendulum. When I go forward and bring the ball back, the left hand is guiding the ball. It's going to keep it there so it's nice and tight and tight. And as it's coming back down, the left hand will come off about here, and then I'll push away. This is the explosion point that gives authority the explosion to the point. bowler's delivery. Nice. Looks easy. Wish I could do that all the time. <laughs> Oh my! You create a little more speed, a little more rotation with two hands, and when you create more rotation with these bowling balls, from a bomb to an atom bomb is what you just made. 
Researchers at the United States Bowling Congress recently employed highly bowling sensitive motion capture equipment to analyze Belmonte's approach. The thing that we found is that he's able to create 20, 30 percent more revolutions with increased ball speed with his technique. He has a rev rate of 577, but we have it documented at the average high level pro will be around 480 RPMs. And there are signs that two handed bowling is catching on worldwide. Uh, Ohio, oh, 10 year old named Chaz Dennis became the youngest person ever to bowl in an official perfect game. Nice. Finland, the Nordic sensation Oscar Palermo is tearing up the European tour with both hands. And even in Bolivia. Last summer, the Bolivian Bowling Federation initiated Proyecto Dos the Manos, BBF. Project Two Hands. Inspired by Jason Belmonte, the entire national team was converted to the two-handed delivery. Nice. Here he is an idol, rather the idol, I should say. They all want to be like Jason someday. We arrived one day and the coach showed us some videos of Jason Belmonte. And the coach had confidence in Oh, wow, that is old YouTube right there. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And now suddenly they go to any international tournament. And they go no less than 190, 195. In my experience as a coach, cool. I've never seen anything like it. But in sports, success does not always bring acceptance. Nope. With his unique split handed grip, Ty Cobb compiled the highest career batting average ever, but failed to inspire a legion of imitators. Mm. Few were the free throw shooters more accurate than Rick Barry. Still, Barry's Rainy style failed to catch on. And not everyone in the bowling establishment has embraced the Belmonte way. The what Belmonte way. The critics don't, they don't feel the two-handed style is mm. a legitimate style. It's somehow wrong and it's bad for the sport. There are also oh. concerns that Belmonte's high torque delivery takes too great a physical toll. You better be in great shape just to bowl, but to do it with two hands and be, you know, contorted like he is, that worried me. That's the reason that I didn't pursue it. But for now, in Jason Belmonte, bowling finally has something it has long lacked. The dynamic young star. The dynamic. In a world of one handed bowlers, <laughs> the two handed bowler mm. might soon be king. I think Jason really has started something. I see more two-handed bowlers now than I ever thought about seeing, so I think it's catching on. The greatest thing about it is. is there is no one-way to do it. You can do it any way you want to do it. Uh, crap. <laughs> Until next time, this is Moneybags7.